juice. Thank you, Chair. I'm sure all councillors have uh, read the papers and are fully aware of what this motion lays out. The climate and ecological emotion, uh, emergency that we are facing. And it is time that we told the truth, we acted now, and that we form a citizens' assembly. I'm asking the council to declare the climate and ecological emergency, to pledge to make BCP Council and its operations carbon neutral by 2030, taking into account both production and consumption emissions, to work with partners, businesses, and the wider community to investigate make recommendations and set a target date for how early the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole region uh, can be made carbon neutral ahead of the UK target of 2050. To call on Westminster to provide the powers and resources to make the 2030 and other interim targets possible. To work with other governments both within the UK and internationally to determine and implement best practice methods to limit global warming to less than 1.5 degrees centigrade. To continue to work with partners across the city region to deliver this new goal through all relevant strategies and plans. Set up a citizens' assembly to enable views of the general public to be taken into account. And to report to full council within six months with the actions the council will take to address this emergency. As discussed with officers, an action plan with clear, quantifiable milestones should be submitted to full council in December 2019. This, this motion has been a long time coming. It's the first opportunity for BCP council to vote on it. And uh, I hope that people will get behind it and support this motion. Uh, I move the motion to the council. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hall. Second the motion. Yep, thank you. Um, it's a privilege to be able to second this motion and also deliver our campaign promise, which me and Simon made as well. This motion has been designed to deliver achievable and quantifiable goals over the next 11 years, taking BCP Council to zero carbon as well as acting as leaders throughout the city region. As we're here now, there's protests in five cities calling on the UK government to act now on the climate breakdown. And we have got the opportunity to show true leadership on this tonight. We're at a tipping point where our actions today are going to dictate the type of future the next generation will have. And we all need to be accountable for the decisions which we take. Some people have taken their actions on the streets, some arrested and now waiting their day in court. I'm asking all members to take their action here tonight and support this motion. And so we can be accountable for our decisions today as well. I'd like to ask that this vote be recorded, please, Chair. Can I ask members who wish to speak on the motion, please uh, indicate making <coughs>
DCP Council can't single-handedly save the planet, but we can do what is practical, responsible, sustainable, verifiable, and of course, legal. So, Mr Chair, I would like to support the motion, but I will propose an amendment which perhaps we could go in at points 9 and 10 as follows. BCP Council commends the work of the preceding authorities to reduce carbon emissions across our congregation. And second point, BCP Council does not condone acts of equal terrorism and civil disorder in the name of climate and ecological emergencies, which disrupts lives and impacts on our policing resources. Mr Chair, I hope that Council will support this amendment. Is that a formal amendment to the... Carbon because it's, it's the basis of life. 
uh, treats some carbon and it's an exchange of carbon and oxygen between humans and, and uh, the environment. So I know that we are really trying to be environmentally more sound as a council, which I applaud. Um, but I think this is an unachievable goal to say it's going to be zero. And so perhaps if you can look at a lower, a higher percentage rather than nothing at all. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, but my understanding is that the Council Board will address that at the beginning of summing up. Um, and the next uh, for Councillor to speak is Councillor Rice. This is all the amendment, Councillor Rice. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Wilson, do you wish to speak on the amendment? Um, uh, so I'm fully against both amendments. I think they are disgusting, to be honest. Uh, the language you used to describe it. The, the people who actively push this to the front of the agenda, but it's also really offensive to people who have actually experienced terrorism. I mean, it's just crass, to be honest. And it's really <laughs> this is about, this is about, I believe it was the, the first amendment. And praising uh, previous councils' work, I don't know about the other councils because I wasn't in them. But there was um, there was one motion during my time uh, on board the council about the green agenda, and it was about uh, getting rid of plastic club cups. And it was the nearest thing you would get to a debate in Bournemouth Council because there was 51 Conservatives and three opposition members, and it was everyone praising themselves about how brilliant it was going to be getting rid of these plastic cups. The next day on Monday, I woke in. I, uh, I woke. I woke uh, I walked in to the members, the members' room, and I made myself a coffee using the little plastic, uh, which is still there, the little plastic milk sachets, and poured them in and made myself a coffee. They have not gone anywhere near far enough. What we're proposing is something actually realistic. I, I pick up on um, uh, uh, Councillor Butler's point, um, their first name, um, that this, these are these are really difficult targets, but we're challenging ourselves, and that's really important. So, yeah, I'm fully against these amendments, and that's, that's my piece. Cheers. Thank you. Um, I, I, I'm, I, at our last council meeting, um, there was a comment from one of the members who probably attended that she would think we were very good natured praise things that the previous administration has done. And that I would like to recognise that there are some good things that the previous administration has, has achieved, and they've, they've, they've um, gone into some detail on those. But we are in an emergency because nationally and locally, we don't know where we need enough. And, and, and actually, one of the key things that we did in this area was we, we, we didn't support uh, um, uh, the wind farm uh, um, on the basis of the and Brighton did, and Brighton haven't lost all their tourism as a result. So there's kind of something <laughs> about, uh, um, uh, about uh, um, the, the measures we need to take now, because over the last 50 years we've been wrecking our planet, and I think that's the message that's now been clear. I think the other thing in terms of peaceful protest, if you look back at the peaceful protests that have achieved real change in the world, um, and in you know, black rights movements in, 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 in America and, and many other things, they just wouldn't happen if everyone just accepted the, 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 the norm. And when, um, when school children are on, on mass, particularly Greta Thunberg, uh, comes out and, and tells the UN and various other people, you have to see it wrong, you are failing us, you are failing our next generation. We have to listen, it's their planet that we are wrecking, we have to act now and act strongly. And I, I uh, am very uh, much hope and intend that we uh, take this really seriously. I, I don't accept either of these men. on Waterloo Bridge. 
Can you stop here and call the terrorists to my face? I would like an apology, please, because all I did was sit peacefully and ask for something to be done. And I hope that we can move and we can do something here tonight as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there is absolutely no way I would support these two amendments. Um, the previous councils did something, but they didn't go anywhere near as far enough to still be having plastic cups in the um, water coolers in Paul just shows that it is to pay lip service um, to um, things. Um, I just want to make a comment that um, 50 years ago um, there had to be a riot at the Stonewall Inn so that LGBT, rights, LGBT people had their rights. Um, and now we're seeing school children feeling so strongly about this that they feel it necessary to take time off of their studies um, and protest. And there is, it will do a massive disservice to um, all of our children, um, the, our own children, the children we support, and every child in this area, particularly the children who gave us these. When we became councillors in May, you'll notice many of us are still wearing our Planet Defenders Nature Lover medals, and we will continue to do so until we manage to get this through. And there is no way I would support particularly the last item. Thank you, Chair. Um, I think some members may have missed the point of the amendment. It's not amending the substantive at all. It's actually just appending to it. So perhaps the term appending to the main motion 
um, is what members should think about. And what the two additional points that are being proposed here, um, I would fully support. Because if you think to some of the demonstrations that are taking place in London, the disruption it, it had actually caused to the businesses there, the clear-up operation, and I think there's still some unresolved issues there. Um, and I was just quite taken by the comments that the leader herself made. She mentioned the word riot and that we should deal with this, this is an emergency. Um, does that mean that she supports violent behaviour? I don't know. Discuss. <laughs> You know, what Councillor Keir said was, I thought, was the one that actually has resonance. That yes, people believe in, have certain beliefs, and they want to go out, and they want to make their point. But this can be done peacefully, in a civilised manner, without any violence. Without, without any violence. And that is why the two... Am I actually being allowed to speak, or will I be shouted down? Is this intimidation? I don't know. So where, where do you draw the line? Um, and I'm just, what the motion is attempting to address is that things should be done in a civilised, peaceful manner without actually involving any form of violence. So I shall be supporting the amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hanks. Councillor Rampton, would you like to sum up? Absolutely, personal response to the to the uh, comment that uh, do I condone violence? The the, the, the point was uh, was making reference to the fact that sometimes to achieve significant change you have to take direct action. Um, making reference to the Stonewall riots, not suggesting that we or anybody else were to riot. Um, the um, additional item talks about taking any illegal action. It does not talk about condoning uh, significant <coughs> violence. The actions of Chris and the people who were with him and Mike. Um, and or then they were not violent. Thank you, Chair. Um, if you don't mind, I'll uh, sit for this. Uh, addressing the amendment itself, um, having attended in Bournemouth, Christchurch, and Poole all of the youth strike for climates, I saw no violence, I saw children. They're concerned about the state of the planet. And I supported them. I marched in solidarity. And there'll be another one on Friday. These amendments paint it as if these children are going to run amok on a town hall greens, burst into shops, break windows, cause graffiti. None of that happens. Not in our town. So I strongly am against the amendment that paints our next generation in that light.
you, Mr Chair. I think there are some very overactive imaginations here this evening because at no point did I actually mention any individuals uh, or any particular acts. What I'm saying is we will not condone acts that would cause civil disorder, disrupt lives and impact on our police and our emergency service resources which are in fairly short supply. That was the intention. I am not intending to change the, uh, the motion. In fact, I said that I would support it. I asked for two extra points to be added. So I will not be making an apology. There is no apology to make. Thank you. Thank you. Right, uh, we'll go to the vote then. Those in favour of, of the amendment. It's a, it's a recorded vote. It's a Thank you. 